So the last video that uh, we saw about interfaces, uh, one thing that we can add to interfaces is optional properties. Now, optional properties uh, mean that we have an object and uh, we are expecting certain properties inside that object, but uh, there are certain properties inside that object which may or may not be there. And that's where um, this um, question mark symbol is really useful in TypeScript to create optional properties. Uh, let's just take a quick look at an example uh, to understand what optional properties are and how are they helpful. So uh, let's just take a look at the code, uh, which uh, I'm going to show you here is that we have a function called uh, greet, which takes a argument called person. And uh, if the person has a last name, we are going to do, uh, we're going to write hello plus the title of the person and the last name of the person. But if the person does not have a last name, then we are, um, you know, forced to use the first name of the person. So we have two people here. Uh, we have uh, someone called John Doe and someone called Jane who does not have a last name. So when I call the greet function and I print the values here, uh, so let me just, you know, run this code. And if I take a look at the console here, um, we see that um, for uh, John Doe, we are going to greet him as hello, Mr. Doe, while for uh, Jane, we're just going to say hello, Miss Jane, because we don't know her last name. Okay, so um, if I want to create a um, interface for person, um, we would have to uh, build something like this um, interface um, person, and it's going to have a title of type string, it's going to have a uh, uh, first name or definitely of type string and if I call a uh, person as uh, of a uh, person data type Right and uh, That's the place where some problems start happening because um, we have said that the interface person has got title and first name which means that this person Object is not supposed to have a last name if it's not supposed to have a last name How come inside the function am I using this property person dot last name? Okay and uh, if I uh, do add the last name here, in that case, I get an error in some other place. That is, that I can't pass Jane into this function because Jane does not have a last name. So I am a bit of in a catch-22 situation here that uh, I uh, want to have an interface which has last name, but this last name property should be optional. And that's where that elusive question mark helps us. We put our question mark here and this last name property turns into an optional property, which means that both John and Jane are perfectly fine as person objects because uh, they both have title and first name, but last name is not compulsory. So Jane does not have a last name, which is perfectly fine. And inside uh, the function, when I try to use person.lastName, um, the the greet function thinks that the incoming object is of type person which means it may have a last name so it's fine if i try to use that okay so that's what optional properties help us do is that we want a certain property inside an object which sometimes exists and sometimes it does not exist that's why we use optional properties